So today is a San Francisco market update where we're going to review the data for December 2023. My name is Joe Poliak, San Francisco Bay Area real estate agent with Rise Homes. I make videos like this for people like you who might be thinking about buying or selling real estate here in the San Francisco Bay Area or if you're just interested to gather some information about what's going on in the local market. All right, let's begin with single family home data. The number of new listings that hit the market in 2022 December was 72. In 2023 December, that number was 45. So that's a decrease of 37.5% year over year. The number of pending sales December 2022 was 116 and that number was 99 in December 2023. That's a decrease of 14.7% year over year. And the number of sold listings was 154 in 2022. And December 2023, that number was 119. That's a decrease of 22.7% year over year. So as we see with this data, with the number of new listings, with uh, pending sales and with sold homes, we are seeing an inventory problem. We're seeing a lot less homes available for sale, uh, pending and selling uh, this year versus last year. And last year was also a low inventory market. So I think that we're probably seeing right now, as far as long as data has been collected, some of the lowest inventory levels that we've ever seen in San Francisco. Okay, moving on to pricing. So the median sales price in December 2022 was 1.537 million. That number in uh, December 2023 was 1.45 million. So a decrease of 5.7% year over year. The average sales price in uh, December 2022 was 1.87 million and some change. And then that number was 1.983 million in December 2023. So that's actually an increase of 6%. So all in all, even with interest rates higher and um, in general, uh, the economy seeming to, um, you know, have some hurdles, at least uh, our local economy with you know Silicon Valley layoffs and some of the other stuff going on in the news, I think that's balanced out with the low inventory levels. And so that's causing prices to not really move that much year over year. Okay, moving on, days on market. On average, homes took 38 days to sell in December 2022, and in December 2023, that number was 40. So not really a significant change there. The number of active listings at the end of the month was 216 in December 2022, and that number was 151 in December 2023. So that's a decrease of 30.1%. So there's 30% less homes available for sale at the end of 2023 than there was at the end of 2022. So again, low inventory levels is the name of the game right now. And then last year, 48.7% of homes sold over their asking price. And this year, 54.6% of homes sold over their asking price. On average, last year, homes sold for 2.9% over their asking price. And this year, homes sold for 4.1% over their asking price. Lastly, month's supply last year was 1.1. This year is 1.0. It looks like the low inventory levels are kind of balancing out price levels in the market because otherwise if inventory levels, if the amount of homes available for sale was similar or more than it was last year, then I, I bet you that prices would be a lot lower this year. But because they haven't, because supply levels have dropped significantly while interest rates have gone up, uh, I feel that that's what's caused price uh, prices to stay relatively stable year over year. Okay, let's jump into condos, TICs, and co-ops for San Francisco. The number of new listings last year was 78. This year, that number was 75, so not really a big change there. The number of pending sales last year was 122, and this year, that number was 158, so actually a significant increase year over year of 29.5%. The number of sold listings was 147 December 2022. December 2023, that number was 162. So that's an increase of 10.2% year over year. Median sales price was 950 last year, and this year that number was 996. So that's an increase of 4.9% year over year. Average sale price was just a little bit under 1.1 million last year. Average sales price this year was 1.169 million. So that's an increase of 6.5% year over year. Average days on market was 74 last year, and it's 72 this year. The number of active listings last year was 5 to two, and this year that number is 441. The number of properties that sold over their asking price last year was 15.6%. This year that number is 22. 
0.2%. Uh, Last year, on average, condos, TICs, co-ops sold for 98.1% of their list price. And this year, it is 99%. And lastly, months of supply of inventory last year was 2.0, and this year, that number is 2.4. All in all, we're not seeing the same story with condo, TIC, co-ops in San Francisco as we do in single family data. Now, I think the reason for that is that following the pandemic, we saw such a drastic increase in supply because of work from home, issues with what's going on in downtown and Soma and all these places. We saw a lot more condos, TICs, co-ops coming up for sale. A lot of people just didn't want to live there, didn't really need to pay a million dollars plus with a thousand dollar a month HOA dues to be able to walk to work because they can work from home. And so what I think we're seeing now is that even though interest rates are higher, we are seeing a lot more people having to return to the office. I think it is a slow recovery, but I think it is a net recovery of even though downtown and Soma and these parts of San Francisco still are not without their problems, we are seeing still a lot more companies that have their offices there are requiring people to come back to the office and work three, four, five days a week. And so I think that's what we're seeing slowly. The supply is being in the way. And we're seeing that with a decrease of active listings of 15.5% year over year. So it's slowly eating away at the supply. Interest rates are still high, which is causing, you know, the affordability of these properties with, you know, at a million bucks, 1.2 million, 1.5 million, 2 million uh, for some of the uh, nicer properties. And these thousand dollar a month HOA fees on the low end, maybe five, 600 bucks. So my prediction is that interest rates are not going to move a ton this year. Um, I think they're going to kind of stay relatively static. They might go down a little bit. And what I think that's going to cause single family sales to do is that inventory levels and supply is still going to remain relatively low, but it still might bump up a little bit. And so what I think we are going to see is prices probably coming up five to 10% over the year this year. I think that that's what's going to happen for single family homes. And I think it's going to be a very similar story for condos, TACs, co-ops, although I think that with affordability for single family homes being kind of lower and the supply being limited and more supply available for condos, TICs, co-ops, their lower prices for you know bigger places in general, I think we are going to see price increases and supply um, continue to go down for condos, TICs, co-ops. But hey, we'll see what happens. You never know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and comment with any feedback or thoughts or opinions that you have about um, this video would love to potentially work with you if you're thinking about buying or selling a home. Of course, if you are, please contact me. Uh, my contact information is in the description of this video. Thanks again.